Ah, what a lovely night. What in the world was that? It's a rock from space? Oh my. Ah! I need somewhere new. Somewhere where I haven't been before. Wait, what about Point Pleasant? The home of the iconic Mothman? How did you get that box there? With little difficulty. Haha, <laughs> sir, you're so funny. Thanks, but have you seen a monster around here? Are you on about the Mothman? If so, then I have. Not too long ago. He was over there just down the creek and across the river. He made a terrible noise. Okay, thanks. I'll check it out for you. I go ahead. Excuse me, did you talk to a man called the doctor? No, I haven't talked to a man called the doctor. But I was just talking to a man who went down the creek to find the Mothman. Oh, okay. Thank you. People nowadays are weird. Okay, I'm not alone. Sir, are you good? Yeah, I think so. Did you see it? Did you see the Mothman? Aye, we did. Shut it, girl. You're under the power of the Sexton Sontaran Battlefleet. I'm sorry about my friend. He always messes up the genders. He's also a clone from a clone race from Sontar. Sir. Can you please stop talking about some Doran cloning in front of the enemy? He is friendly, once you get to know him. He's a bloody baked potato. Well, in a way, yes. He is a stupid living baked potato. We need plasma grenades. No, we're not taking them out with plasma grenades. Your nose. Are we? Well, it isn't the first for me. Doctor, we don't have time to stay here. The Mothman has just run past and can easily return and take us out. Let's go back to my place. Wait a second, your accent. Where are you from? My grandparents were Scottish, but my parents were born and raised in America like myself. Where you really need to kill the creature with plasma grenades. Let's go back to my place, and I'll explain everything. Sure thing. I was a part of a time travel experiment in Area 51 during 2029. I was sent back here, but as soon as I arrived, the Mothman crashed and killed a man. Ever since then, I've been fighting the Mothman. So, you've been protecting people from the Mothman? No, I've just tried to gather enough information so I can stop it myself. What kind of information did you get so far? Well, it is known for the red eyes, which can put people in hypnotic trance. It also needs to use electricity as a power source. So we are after a creature that uses electricity to use its powers. That's just what I assume, but anyway, we don't have time because when it attacked, it just caught power. And the fact that it attacked you means that it's become fearless to the point where I'm going to say that it will attack. Wait, what day is it today? We don't need to care about the date. We just need heavy weapons. No weapons. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. It is the 16th of December, 1967. The Silver Bridge Collapse. Uh, what? Tomorrow morning, the bridge will collapse. And apparently the Mothman was seen on the bridge tonight. We need to know the weakness of the Mothman. I would have presumed water, because it needs electricity. Not entirely. I knew an electric-based species called the Gantron. Their only weakness was gas rays, known as the Geld. The what? Okay, I will explain later, because right now we need to go to the bridge. Holy sh- Please, no swearing. Are we in a different dimension? Yes, we are. Well, I never realized that. It's my people's way of engineering. Anyway, hush. Well then, we meet at last. I'm the doctor, and you are...
I am the Mothman. No, I mean your proper name, not the staff title these people gave to you. Says the man who uses a title as his name. Oh, okay then, good point. But what kind of species are you? I am a Vesperform. Ah, so I assume you were a human at once. I used to be called Charlie Westwood. Anyway, let my plan take place. <coughs> what have you done to him? It does not matter. Fraser, don't do this. Bloody hell, me dog, instead of shouting. Are you aware that you just killed a creature? It was the only way to save Jack, and you know it was. <sighs> what happened? Oh, it's nothing. Wait, what happened to the Mothman? It left. Oh, okay then. Okay, we need to go. Fraser, would you like to join? I can. Tomorrow is when the bridge collapses, and I should be here to help. Okay then, the option will always be open. How will I contact you? We will bump into each other. Since you cannot die. How did you know? That, my friend, is a story for another time. Until we meet again, Doctor. <laughs>